Hey, Core Reporters, and welcome back to my channel. Ugh, there's a big story coming out in the Love is Blind universe. Let me just tell you this. There's always a big story coming out in the Love is Blind universe when a season is airing, okay? That's why I have been making these videos back to back, but this story just disgusts me. What if I told you that a Love is Blind contestant was caught cheating on his wife? And, you know, it's going to be exactly who you would think it is because this man had no business getting married and obviously wasn't even all that into his wife. She was his second choice. He loved someone else, got rejected by someone else, cried like a baby when that other person rejected him. And then he decided to go ahead and propose to his wife because, you know, at that time, she did not have standards. She was not going to turn him down and um, she was going to marry him. And unfortunately, that is exactly what happened. Now, take a listen to this clip describing exactly what went down when Ayana from Love is Blind season two caught her dirty D husband, Jared, cheating on her. Mm -mm -mm. We're going to get into my opinions after this, because if you guys kept up with my recaps from the season, you'd know this comes as no surprise to me. If anything, like no pressure, is there anything that you feel comfortable to like release right, right now? now? Mm -hmm. Jared cheated. How did you find out? I found out three days before after the altar. Mm -hmm. I received an email mm -hmm. with very details, with details, <laughs> very specific details. I remember when this happened because mm -hmm. we went out to eat. Remember? Oh. We went to Chicago Oyster House. Oh, yeah. And you dropped that bomb on me when we were literally at dinner. And I was like, yeah. Fuck. I let you read the email too, didn't I? Oh, I read the whole thing. I saw it all. The picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was a lot for me to have to, because immediately I was like, I want a divorce. And I'm so happy that she decided to go ahead and get that divorce, that she's not one of those ladies that's like, let me fight for this. He made a mistake. We made our vows. You know, she's like, you know, disrespect me, get the F out. Good for you, Ayana, because I always said from jump that Jarrett never deserves Ayana a day in his life. I don't know how she settled for this man. He convinced himself somehow that he settled for her. But in my opinion, it was the complete other way around. I still can't get over the fact that this man um, who was working multiple jobs and sleeping on an air mattress thought he was fit for marriage at this point instead of just getting his life and finances together, first of all, right? This man who wanted to go be up at the clubs at his big old age until like four o'clock in the morning every night and drink like a fish thought he was husband material. I just, I, I can't, honestly. It was just so ri insanely ridiculous to me. And it was, it always stood out that this person had such low self-esteem. And when a man has low self-esteem and when he knows that you were in a far better place in your life than he is, remember Ayana had her master's degree, y'all. She was doing it. She was, she was living a great life, right? A better life than Jarrett was living. And he knew that. And that really dug into his low self-esteem. And when you get with a man like this, who feels this way about himself and sees you thriving, they do everything within their power to suck the life out of you. And when we were watching After the Altar, Ayana just could not stop crying. And just talking about like how like disrespectful, disrespected she felt in that marriage. And I was wondering like, what is going on? Is it the, the clubbing, the this and the that? Like, what is it? And now come to find out, he was cheating. And she had just gotten wind of it from the mistress. I don't understand why she was not able to reveal this during filming. This would have been very compelling television. Did she make a deal with Jared not to expose him or something? Was it something that was supposed to only come out a little bit later after their stint and after all the buzz would die down and whatnot? Whatever it is, it's got me curious. But I will say though that Ayana, this was probably one of the greatest things that ever happened to you. Sometimes when you refuse to get out of a relationship that is not serving you, the universe is going to give you the biggest punch in the head to force you out of that relationship. And I think that this was probably her big thing. You know, everyone around her told her to work on things, work on things, work on things. But when a man does something like this to you, girl, girl, throw his things out the window slash his tie. I'm joking. Don't slash his tires, but like, and get on your way. And I think that that's what Ayana needed to happen because otherwise she would still be running 
behind this like 40 year old club rat who wants to twerk it in the clubs until like four in the morning like he doesn't have a wife at home and you know can we get into the audacity of Jarrett for a second while I'm on him I could never stand him he always gave me the ick the fact that this man who who is a club rat right he wanted to have kids with Ayana he was like when are we gonna have kids I can't believe like you know she's putting off kids who's gonna take care of the kids while you are in the clubs, Jarrett, like he was just so like out of like order. It was shocking to me because when I saw his parents on the show, they seemed like very upstanding individuals. His father officiated their wedding and everything. Like it was very beautiful. Like I loved his family, just like I loved Ayana's family. So it makes you wonder like, how did they produce a Jarrett? Like where did all of his like 40 year old like club rat tendencies come from, right? Like where did this cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater come from? right? Wow, what a disgrace. Not a surprise, but a disgrace. But I do have to say to Ayana, congratulations to you for just being done with it at that point and not trying to work on it any further. That man had been disrespecting her from day one. Remember his conversation? This is actually a screenshot from a conversation that he was having with Mallory when she was talking, when he was looking at her engagement ring, right? Because he was still pissed that she turned him down his first choice. He goes, I know you don't love that ring. I know you wanted like gold, yellow gold or something like that and stuff like that. Like it was just so icky, the guy. Ugh. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. When a guy feels like he settled for you or, he, or when he feels like you're too good for him or whatever, he's going to do things like this every single time. Anyway, congrats to Ayana again for moving on forward and uh, three cheers to her for sharing her story and opening up about what it is that she went through. What do you think about this? Are you surprised that Jarrett cheated on Ayana? Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat again. This is the guy who wanted to have kids. Drunk out of his mind every single day until four in the morning at the clubs. Cheating on his wife, but let's have kids. Ugh. Ew. Ugh. Bye, guys.